<sighs> As one Crookshank, your one and only Moose Swiftly speaker checking in for a daily Moose Swiftly thought, giving you a perspective on teamwork that you will not get anywhere else. <sighs> Hit a milestone today. 15 miles, a milestone I haven't hit in a while. Exceeded probably the longest I've done since the dehydration a little less than a year ago now. It's coming back, baby, it's coming back. And it's cause I had the proper rest, had the proper nutrition. And to be 100% honest with you, I probably could have went another mile or so, but started feeling the cramps a little bit and knowing that the marathon isn't for another couple months, making the business decision now, you know, the, the mistake I made a year ago was probably going too many miles when I started feeling it and not cutting it off, you know, at this stage in the game. So learning from my mistakes and cutting it off when I've, you know, I've hit the milestone and I'm kind of done. So as far as today's move swiftly thought, it's Tuesday, folks, Tuesday. And you know what goes down on Tuesday if you're a regular listener, regular consumer, top five Tuesday. And today's the, this week's top five Tuesday isn't necessarily top five. It's just five of the most important or the most notable reasons. I'm recording this the day of another presidential election between uh, Kamala Harris and Donald Trump. You know, this late in the election, you know, we finally have a damn debate to kind of solidify that look. Kamala Harris, as much as I love the idea of a black woman and a woman who's been raised by Caribbean parents, as I love the idea of someone like that becoming president i gotta do what's best I gotta do what's best for the young people I gotta do what's best for my niece my nephew and the youngins coming up and if i'm blessed enough to have my own kids I gotta do what's best for the next generation and she's not it she's just not it you know for the same reasons i'm going to talk about today same reasons that you know we saw we're seeing what we saw on saturday with coach prime and these colorado buffs and how that whole experiment is in the process of just completely exploding and blowing up in people's faces in it that whenever we see people who are have these prominent roles that look like us and you know what i mean when i say us us as african americans when we when we see the way we're stereotyped and we see the way we're being represented by certain people folks who adults you know not the kids i don't expect this from the kids but us as adults got to do a a much better job in regards to really asking yourself what's right what's wrong and removing skin color from the equation and just asking what's right and what's wrong you know as much as we may want to see our people quote unquote get these roles we just got to be honest man just got to be honest with the results and be honest with what, what 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 the results are right so his top five is the top five reasons why people prefer to be lied to all right a lot of the things that we see when it comes to whether it's Kamala Harris, whether it's a primetime Deion Sanders, doesn't matter, P. Diddy, it doesn't matter who the black individual is that we fall into this idolatry phase with. We got to understand that being lied to, regardless of the race, regardless of the person, is not OK. It's not OK to be lied to. And I understand why it's easy, why people prefer to do it, because that's what we've been taught to do our whole life. We've been taught to brush things off. Uh, and here are the five reasons. Again, I'm, I'm gassed right now, just did 50 miles, so you gotta forgive me if I'm, if I'm sounding a little all over the place, but top five reasons why people prefer to be lied to, all right? Number one, it gives folks an excuse to, it gives folks an excuse to not hold themselves accountable, not hold themselves accountable and, you know, make it so they're doing the work on their end to get whatever result it is they want. Number two, you're always able to blame someone else that's not you all right number three is protection there's protection you can stay protected when you are lied to because you can always use like i said the excuse of being lied to and why you didn't get certain things accomplished and why this didn't happen and that didn't happen number four you get to stay in your comfort zone all right and that's a beautiful that's a very comfortable or that's a very attractive place for all of us to be in at some point or the other we all want to stay in our comfort zone not put in the work not <clears throat> not uh not have to go out and meet brand new friends and you know develop new relationships and all that because it's so difficult and number five i kind of just i mentioned this but it keeps you from putting in the work keeps you from putting in hard work when it comes to a if i'm lied to by somebody i can be told look i don't have to work as hard as i know i gotta work and 
if I just take it easy, if I just coast, okay, everything's just gonna kind of fall in my direction because I'm of a certain status and I know with a certain person and a certain friend is gonna hook me up and hook me in and do this for me and do that for me, all right? So those are it, those are it, all right? <laughs> and again, forgive me if I'm a little off because brought it today it was a lot it was a lot I was actually only planning to go about 12 to 13 ish and you know the adrenaline got the best of me my legs were really feeling excellent at around mile eight and I said yo we got it we got it we got it we got it and I said to myself I can I can get to 16 today but I started feeling that like I said I started feeling it mile 15 so we started cutting it making the business decision, business decision but as far as today's top five Tuesday I'll repeat it just to recap. Talk, counting down the top five reasons why people enjoy being lied to. Number five, and again, this is in no particular order. Number five, it gives people an excuse to not hold themselves accountable. It gives people excuses to not do certain things. Number four, you stay in your comfort zone. Number three, you don't have to work hard. Number th number two. You get to blame everybody else for you to blame somebody else for the work that you need to be putting in. And number one, it leads to a level of protection that keeps you in a comfort zone. All right. And again, I know I might have said those backwards, but to be honest with you, it's not necessarily in any order. Those are basically the five reasons that people like getting lied to. And because you are a consumer of my work, just make sure you're not one of those people. All right. Main website to check out to dive deeper into all my work. It's makeyamove.com. That's M A K E Y A M O V E.com. One stop shop for all your teamwork and your self development needs. As one Crookshank, your one and only Move Swiftly speaker, checking out. You guys continue to move swiftly. We will talk more soon.